Joining me now is a UFC light heavyweight fighter who takes on Mauricio Shogun Hua in the UFC Hamburg main event this Sunday afternoon or evening, depending where you are in the world. It is Anthony Lionheart-Smith back on the program. Anthony, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, Just happy to be on. Excellent, Anthony. Thank you so much for taking time uh, during fight week. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Let's dive right in. Of course, you're taking this fight on short notice. How did the fight against Shogun all really come together? Because I know you were, you know, you're coming off the win over Rashad Evans, the Lincoln, Nebraska card is coming up, and then all of a sudden you're booked to fight in Hamburg, Germany. How did this all come uh, come together? Yeah, I know kind of, it kind of came together a little bit crazy. You know, everyone was kind of seeing the Lincoln thing and, and, Trying, you know, hoping I was getting on there, and, and, and just out of nowhere, here we are going to Germany. But, you know, as soon as I fought Rashad, I, I, I said the entire build-up to that to that fight that I, I wanted to get in and get out and, and get on the, the Lincoln-Nebraska card. It's, you know, it's in my home state. It's not far from my house, and, and, and it's just something I really wanted to do for, me, for myself personally. You know, realistically, as, as the UFC said as well, you know, me fighting in Lincoln doesn't really make sense for me or the division, and, and that's McManus' job, and, and i got to respect that, you know. So he, he tried really hard to find an opponent that made sense for, for my own career and for the division as a whole, and, and it just wasn't coming together, and, and we were still trying. But uh, then this the, the opportunity to, to step in for Volkan Ozdemir against Shogun popped up, and, and, and I've always said, man, I'm uh, – you know, I'm a, I'm a team player, so obviously the Lincoln thing is what I wanted, but when it comes down to it, the UFC needed me in Germany, and, and this is a fight that I that I really wanted anyways. You know, I've, I've said several times that I want to fight Shogun, that I like the matchup, and, and, and that I think that him and I would really put on a show, so this is something that, that we wanted anyways, and, and the opportunity arose, and, and we jumped on it. So perhaps by taking this fight, you didn't even lose out on a fight in Lincoln just because it sounded like it, it really wasn't coming together. So I was going to ask you later on if, if it felt bittersweet, but perhaps you would have been out of luck anyways. I may have been, you know, and, and we're not 100% sure, you know, but it, it wasn't looking very good, and, you know, the chances were really low. But I know Mick was still working really, really hard on it all the way up until when when not, when the, when the Shogun thing popped up, so... You know, it, it is bittersweet, man. I, I I hope that maybe maybe the the UFC will come back to Nebraska again. You know, I I, I hope so. So, it, you know, it is what it is at this point. I, I I need to do what's good for my career, and and obviously taking a fight with Shogun in the main event and in Germany on a big stage is, is a much better opportunity than fighting in Lincoln. The the Lincoln thing is kind of it was just kinda, it's a bucket list for me. You know, that's a that I just want to do before my career was done, and, and, and hopefully the UFC will get an opportunity later on down the road. Before we keep talking about the Shogun fight coming up, I want to go back a little bit and talk about your knockout win over Rashad Evans pretty recently. What was that like to to not only beat a former champion and probably a future Hall of Famer to knock him out, to, to finish him, to put him away? What was that all like? Uh, most likely, I mean, at least on paper, the biggest win of, of your veteran career. You know, it's another one of those those bittersweet moments you know it, it, it it's something that i'll that i'll take with me the rest of my life you know rashad was my first opportunity to fight a, a, a former ufc world champion and and by far the biggest name that i've that i've fought up to this point so you know i that, that's something that means a lot to me and, and and i'm really grateful that that rashad gave me an opportunity you know this is kind of a position that we kind of put ourselves in and and I, I think with my fight style, I put myself in opportunities to get big fights because of the way that I fight and, and, and how I just bring it. So, but but that it gets a two way street. Rashad had to take the fight as well, and, and he didn't have to do that. And, and I'm I'm really thankful for that. But it, it is sad to, to see his career end the way that it did, and and that's just how this sport goes, you know. And it's a it's a it's a dirty circle, you know. And and you start off at the bottom, you make your way to the top, and you're the superstar, and, and then you go out on your shield, you know. And uh, Rashad's just another victim of that, and and that's uh, that's always a shitty deal to see, you know. It, regardless whether it's someone I'm fighting or or anybody else, it's, it's, it's a, it just sucks, you know, because we all know we're all going to be there, you know. It's it's really not so much about you know the actual shopping; it's it's about knowing no matter how how high I am on the mountain right now and how far how much further I climb, that eventually I will end up exactly in the same place. 
Well, you certainly impressed by knocking him out, and uh, of course, it, it seems as if you know the UFC is pretty high on you right now, and they they gave you this fight against Shogun. You have to agree though that this this fight is bigger, considering it's the main event. Considering uh, Shogun is pretty highly ranked right now, he's like number eight, I think, in in the division. Uh, would bump you up really high. Whereas Evans, I mean, he was clearly on his way out. He was not ranked. He was on a losing streak himself. Does does the Shogun fight feel much bigger? Yeah, absolutely. The, you're 100% correct there. The, the Shogun fight is the biggest fight by far that I will, that, that, that I will have had up to this point. Um, and obviously, I, you know, I hope to have much bigger fights moving forward. But up to this point, Shogun is as big as it gets for me. Uh, he's on a winning streak, like you said. He's ranked high, He's ranked pretty high. You know, he's in the top ten. And and there's a lot of got people that are, you know, that are talking about Shogun getting a title shot here very soon, you know. And, and I think a lot of that because stemming from his name and, and, and the things that he's already previously done, and everyone wants, everyone wants to see Shogun do well. You know, even <laughs> excuse me, even though Shogun is in the same division, before I was matched up with him, I've always hoped that Shogun does, has done well. You know, I'm a fan. I'm a, I look, I've looked up to that guy for a long time. So, you know, it, it, it's a big fight, and it's a big opportunity, and I, but I really think that I'm in a position to, 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 really, to really take out Shogun. I really do, and I, and I believe it 100% that I'm going to, leave Germany with a W. Is it odd to be six days away from fighting a guy you've looked up to, as you said, for years? You know, it's it's kind of surreal. You know, it's a little bit, it's, it's similar to Rashad, you know, and I know that a lot of people had some questions about knowing how big of a fan of Rashad that I, that I was and, and how much, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I just looked up to that guy and, and I wanted to be in his position and I wanted to do the things that he was able to do. Shogun's exactly the same way, and I know a lot of people had had questions about if I'd be able to to, to pull the trigger, and, and I think I answered those questions pretty pretty easily. Man, I it, it's a really really cool place to be, in, and I'm really really fortunate, man, that just some small dumbass kid from Nebraska that couldn't get his shit together when he was younger is is now in a position where my idols have become my rivals, you know, and, and, and I've got, I've gotten to an uh, to a point. In, in my life, in my career, where these are my these are people that I'm competing against now, not people that I'm trying to be, you know. So, you know, it, it's weird, but you know, I, I don't think I'll have any problem doing what I got to do uh, to get where I want to go. That's right. for sure. Does the fight feel be big? And what I mean by that, I mean uh, as far as the attention goes. I know we're 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 getting closer, and I know uh, flying over to Hamburg, it'll make it feel bigger and and more real. But right now, I mean, with all the interviews you've been doing ever since this was announced, does it feel like a big fight? Does it feel like you're the sort of main attraction? It does. It feels it feels really it, it feels different, man. It's, it's definitely a, a a cool feeling. Something I've noticed is I didn't realize how many people knew who I was. <laughs> you know, I I kind of I kind of live in my own little world. You know, like I I'm 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 a family guy, and you know, I'm not I'm not out doing crazy shit. I'm, I'm hanging out with my kids and and, and my fiance. You know, I'm I'm just not out there like that. So when this whole thing kind of came about, and, and and you start doing the interviews, and then people are commenting and posting, and and then all of a sudden people are talking on social media, and you're like, holy hell! Like I didn't even realize I had that many fans, and that's a that's a pretty cool thing, man. To for in, in the most non egotistical way possible, it's really cool to realize how many people are fans of you. And it, it's it's just really cool to see that people like what you do. You know that that people are fans of uh, of of what I like my body of work. You know, I, I don't really care about you know being famous or or anything like that. I, like I just think it's cool that people appreciate what I do, and, and I'm starting to notice that a lot more in the last couple of weeks that, that people do appreciate my fight style and that I bring in. And, and, you know, you're right. I do have, I do have some losses and, and most of them are early, but people are realizing it's because of, it's because of the way that I fight. It's not because, because of my ability. It's, it's that I just put my foot on the gas and I go. And, and, you know, a lot of times it works out, but you know, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Now this will be your second fight at 205. I know when we last spoke about a year ago now, um, that was sort of when you were contemplating moving up at 205, staying at 185, what you want to do. Uh, how, how much better do you feel now at light heavyweight? And how like does is it clear now with the Shogun fight, with the Evans fight behind you, that the move is paying off, not having to cut as much weight, you're performing better, and therefore you're, you're getting bigger fights and, and sort of moving up the ranks more? Yeah, it- I just wish I would have done it much earlier. That's the only regret I have with, with any of that, man. I, I knew a long time ago that I should have moved up, and, and I just didn't pull the trigger on it. And I don't know why. 
but I just feel great. You know, I would if this fight was at 85. There's no way I would have been able to take it because I wouldn't have been able to make the weight in three weeks, and I would and I would have and if I would have, I would have killed myself getting there, and I would have been trashed by the time I fought anyway. So, I I, I just I don't know, man. I just feel healthier. I'm, I'm more explosive. I'm faster. I'm, I, and I just my quality of life is better. You know, I, I'm able to enjoy. It. Truthfully, had I been going back to 85, you know, here's another example. I would have been able to take this fight because I wouldn't have been training because I. I would have had to take that much time off to recover from from the weight cut. You know, I, I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been ready, and I wouldn't have been. You know, my quality of life was shitty going eighty five. So in between fights, I, you know, I didn't want to train that much. I didn't want to do a whole lot. So I didn't have any problems fighting Rashad and then getting back home and, and getting right back into training and, and just having fun and and moving around and, and whatever. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done that at eighty five because I would have taken two months completely off to just you know, heal, heal up and, and recover from just destroying myself. So, you know, I, I think everything happens for a reason. And, and I think that I, the, the timing is right. And, and it just worked out that, that I was able to get Rashad out of there quickly. And my body was uninjured and, and I wasn't banged up from training things because I, I wasn't killing myself. It, 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 everything just kind of spiraled from there, you know, in, in a good way from the stopping, you know, I didn't start, you know, I didn't cut the weight and then, I was able to get right back into training because I didn't feel any shit from the weight cut, and then the, you know the Shogun thing popped up, and I I was already I was still in shape, and I was training, and I and I well I'm not overweight, so it, it just everything's worked out perfect, man. I'm just just really happy that that things are starting to come together for me finally. Yeah, from outside looking in, it's really crazy to me how much of a difference only 20 pounds can make. I mean, 20 pounds really isn't all that much weight, I mean, uh, but from being happier to being able to train because you don't have to recover from the brutal weight cut to just being able to take more opportunities to probably perform better. It it must be insane to you looking back now. You had, like, so many fights at 185, and and how much of a difference just 20 pounds makes. Yeah, it's... It, it's... You're right. It's crazy that that just you know. And, and the and the craziest thing is, is I'm not walking any heavier now than I was when I was fighting. At, you know, if anything, I'm a little bit lighter now than I, when I was fighting at 185. And I, I just it's just so crazy to me how how much of a difference it's made, not only physically but just mentally. Just going through that last training camp with Rashad and, and now getting ready the last three weeks for for Shogun. Just how much better I can be in such a short amount of time without having to focus so much like it's crazy how much my mind was occupied with the weight cut and it wasn't focused on getting better so even in the training sessions it was always about trying to burn as many calories as possible get as small as i can work as hard as i can and now i can slow down a little bit and and really focus on the technique and really focus on where i need to get better and where i'm making mistakes and 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 i'm not dreading every training session it's just crazy the amount of gains that i can make in such a short amount of time when i'm not cutting weight it's like you said, it's, uh, it's only 20 pounds, but, it, I mean, there's some guys that are cutting more than that, and, and imagine the difference that could make, you know? I mean, imagine the fights we could have in the UFC if everybody just did what I just did without just said, essentially just said, fuck it, you know? Like, let's let's just let's just all fight at what our natural weight is. Like, imagine how good of fights we would have. No, I totally agree. Um, I, I'm curious, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you actually have to cut to, to get to 205? It can't be much. No, I woke up this morning at 209. Okay, that's crazy. And so 209, 210 is what you walk around at? Or, I mean, do you diet yeah, down a little bit? Or? I mean, sometimes I'll get up to, you know, 215, you know, 220. Okay. But, you know, I, I clean major. my diet up. And, and nothing major at all, man. I, I won't be sweating out one ounce. So when I was fighting at 185, uh, because I was shocking my body and my endocrine system so badly, getting all the way down to 185, I would spike to 230 within a couple of days after the fight, and then I'd be stuck at 230 for for months. You know, I'd be there for two months and then have to crash down to 185, and, and that's what I was doing for a long time. It'd be 85 to 230, back to 85, back up to 230, and and once I stopped cutting the weight and I stopped doing that to myself, almost immediately without take with just taking the stress and the anxiety of having to cut the weight, my 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 weight just leveled out at 215, and I just. And I just stayed there for for the longest time, and then as I got closer to the fight and my you know my conditioning picked up and I got in better shape, and you know I got two three weeks out. I was you know I was to the point where the UFC Performance Institute was having to monitor my diet because I was losing too much weight too fast. You know I was 
down at I was waking up at two oh seven two weeks from the Rashad fight. You know, like, hey, we should probably get that up just a little bit, you know? So it's just a, it's just crazy to me. whereas leading up into the fight, going to eighty five, I was killing myself to try to get under two oh five. You know, and I was now I'm like struggling to stay above it. It's it's the craziest thing to me how 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 your mind and your stress levels and anxiety and, and just your, your your whole body as a system works together. If one thing is off or, or one thing is messed up, it's crazy what it does to you. Are you in Germany already? No, no, I'm still in Nebraska. I okay. I got back from uh, Denver uh, the day before yesterday, and I leave for Germany tomorrow. Okay. Um, as far as not getting there too early, are you totally uh, you're not expecting much when it comes to the time difference? I know people are different. I mean, getting used to the to a time change. Uh, some can do it super quickly or easily. Some ha- have some issues. Is that not really a concern you have? No, no, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> I think a lot of that stuff is in your head. You know, I'll just get there and 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 just do my best to get on the on the the Germany time, you know, the Hamburg Germany time as, as quickly as I possibly can, and they go from there. But you know, I, I just I just I don't worry too much about stuff like that. It's kind of stuff you can't control. So either way, whether you worry about it or not, the times the time the, the time difference is going to be there. So we'll just do what we do, you know, do what we can do to alleviate some of the stress when I get there. Have you, Have you been to Germany Germany before? I haven't. No, I haven't. I'm really excited to go. Yeah, what what are your expectations? You said you're excited. I mean, are are you going to stick around for a little bit after? Are you, uh, you what? I mean, do you have any expectations of what Germany will be like? No, no, I you know I, don't, I really don't know what to expect. Uh, it you know I I hear that the, obviously just through the grapevine of fans and fighters and people who have been over there that that you know the really really great fight fans and <clears throat> and I'm really excited to fight Soga not in Brazil. So that that's cool <laughs> and. I'm excited for that because it's, it, you know, they've been in the hostile territory against, you know, a legend, you know, and I'm sure that Shogun's going to have a lot of fans in Germany, but it's, you know, I, I, I feel like this is kind of a neutral territory situation, so I'm excited to give Germany what they deserve, and, and I think that's a good fight, and I, and I know that I've said this before, but I feel like I need to keep reiterating it. I, I know that the the fans over there are a little bit upset because the, the, the co-main and the main event aren't exactly the fights that they were promised. And there's not a whole lot of European people, uh, fighters that are, you know, on the main card or whatever. So, you know, I, I just want them to give me an opportunity. Like, I know that everyone says, oh, this, this is a shit card and, and it's, you know, this isn't what we wanted or whatever. But, like, just give me a chance. Like, give me, give me 25 minutes of your time. And, and I promise that, that when you leave and, and or when you turn the station and you turn the TV off when it's all said and done, that it, it will, it will have been worth it and you'll be happy that you did. So Shogun is ranked number eight in the 205-pound division right now. You are unranked. Where does a win over him put you in the division? Uh, how you know how far away even from the title mix would you be with a win over over the legend? I think that uh, I think that I'm, I'm probably no more than one away. I know the division's a little bit you know a little bit crazy at the top right now. With, with not really knowing what Cormier is going to do or if he's going to stay or if he's going, but you know it's. It, I would imagine that if Cormier gives up the title, then it's going to be the winner of Gustafson and, and Ozdemir versus, you know, the winner of something else. You know what I mean? So I hope that that other side of that kind of four-way bracket is, is going to be, you know, is going to be in, I'm going to be involved in that. So, you know, hopefully I, I'm one away. man. I, I, I really expect to dominate Shogun. I really expect to get him out of there. I don't think this is going to go 25 minutes at all. Uh, if this fight goes 25 minutes, then, Shogun versus Dan Henderson and the Hall of Fame can move on over. It's 25 minutes, right? It's going to be a barn burner. So uh, that, that's how I see it. You know, I really, I mean, that's a crazy world to be in, man, where, where all of a sudden, you know, like, you know, we could potentially be one more fight after this away from the time shot. Well, Anthony, I really do appreciate the, the time. Last question. Do you have a prediction, anything specific? How do you think you get the job done? You know, I... I want to say that it's going to be like a, a second or third round knockout. I really do. I, I don't think that uh, Shogun's a veteran. He's, he's been around a long time. He's going to be hard to get out of there. But I, I just think that I'm too persistent and, and, and I'm too efficient to, uh, to, to let Shogun get over on I me. Mean, I really, I really don't, man. I know he's dangerous, and I know that he's, he's got lots of tools and he's versatile. But I, I, I really think second, third round, once he starts to slow down, I, I, I think it'll be a devastating knockout.
Awesome, Anthony. Thanks again for the time. Before I let you go, remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media. And uh, if there's anybody you'd like to thank or give a shout-out to, the floor is yours. Yeah, my uh, my Twitter is at Lionheart Smith. Uh, my Instagram handle is Anthony Smith UFC. So definitely check me out there. That, well, both of those platforms are, are me. So man, I love I love interacting with the fans and, and chit chatting. Interesting. I just want to you know give a big thank you to to all my supporters and the people that that care about what I do and 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 support me and, and have for a long time. I also want to give a big thanks to my. My fiance and, and our three daughters. You know, it's, it's been kind of a wild ride. You know, I was gone for a long time and getting ready for Rashad, and, and I was home for just a few weeks, and, and here we are taking off again. So, you know, I, they're, they're being really patient and, and, and really sticking by me, and, and not giving me too much grief about about being gone so much. So, just want to always give a big thank you to them.